Weird graffiti that looks like the Deathly Hollows. Like a volcano island with horns that swallowed a basketball. Uh huh. <laughs> the note says, "Forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better." Ah. The note says, "Yeah, it's the old general store." Hi. The... Everybody thinks they know more than the other. Okay. Well, sure. That's what you got. Speaking of memories. This is where I risked my neck for Elaine. And she showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. Yeah. Also, the windows need some work. <laughs> the jail. Oh, we can visit the jail. A visitor. <laughs> Wait. Guy through I wood. see you over there in the in the left. Otis. Howdy, kid. And Wait. Stan. Otis, old pal. You haven't changed much since I last saw you. Yeah, what are you I doing in jail again? It. In fact, <laughs> didn't we first meet right here? Not at all. I was in the other cell that time. Sure, <laughs> different somehow. Uh, new art style. How nice of you to notice. Yep. Big news. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. That sounds fantastic. You know what I remember most about Monkey Island? The time you busted me out of jail right before we went there. I don't cruise ships anymore. But maybe you can still help me out. Like you did all those years ago. Yeah, I'm uh, sort maybe. Of planning on hijacking an existing crew instead of recruiting one. But maybe I can spring you anyway. For old time's sake. Yeah. I would be most appreciative. A locksmith has opened very conveniently across the way. I am told locksmiths can make keys for things. Uh, things like cell doors. Imagine <laughs> that. What did they get you for this time? I'm a victim of circumstance. Circumstance being that too much attention gets paid to little things that don't hurt anyone while hard killers roam the streets with pistols and swords. What did you do? I noticed you didn't say what crime they locked you up for. It was nothing. I was just picking some flowers. Again? Uh, no, that's illegal. I learned my lesson. I picked them from the governor's garden instead. Huh? <sighs> <laughs> Picking flowers from the governor's garden sounds like an unwise choice. We used to be friends. Sort of. Anyway, they aren't even her flowers. Taxes pay for them. It's public property. I don't know why anyone bothers me about it. I don't hurt anybody. Well, except the flowers. They're annuals. They're doomed anyway. Guybrush, you gotta get me out of here. It's custard night. I don't think I can take that again. <laughs> I'll make it my number three priority. Thanks. Uh huh. It says jail rules. One, no escaping. Oh, that's the only one? Okay. <laughs> Watch your boots in here, son. It's like a swamp without the clean parts. Hey, Stan. Hello there, son. Oh, sorry to see you in jail. Thank you, son. I appreciate the thought. I'm sorry to see me here as well. What are you in for? I was really hoping to buy a ship from you. Well, now, normally, I would do absolutely anything to get you into a comfortable ride right away. But my hands are tied. They're shackled. I can't do it. Not at any price. I'm completely out of inventory. Every ship on the lot was seized by unscrupulous lawyers who don't care about your sailing needs the way I do. Okay, don't worry about it. I've already got a plan to steal a ship from LeChuck. Well, if you don't get killed, look me up afterwards. I'll give you a good price for anything that can stay above the waterline. All right. Naturally, it'll have to be store credit until I get back on my feet. Of course. What did you do that got you arrested? Let me tell you something, son. It's not what a man does that matters. It's who he is. Maybe one day, in a moment of weakness, he crosses a line. But if he's confident about what's in his heart, he can hold his head high. And you know what's in my heart, son? Blood and goopy stuff? People! <laughs> people are in my heart. Anything I may have allegedly done, you can be sure I did it because I care about people. Okay. What exactly did you allegedly do for people that got you arrested? I gave them what they wanted. Now, naturally, people don't always Which know is... that they want the things they want. Sometimes it takes a man with a talent like mine to show them the way. And sometimes people who are jealous of that sort of talent will try to put all sorts of unpleasant labels on it. They use hurtful words like scam and uh -huh. misrepresentation <laughs> and even fraud. But it's all just marketing, son. As natural as the rocks and the trees and the Malay Island flounder birds. And that's why I'm not worried. I'm awaiting final judgment of the court, but I'm certain I'll be acquitted. 
They don't hang people for marketing. Didn't you used to have a law practice or something? Yeah. Used to, but I was disbarred for what we former law practitioners call moral turpitude. Is that a real word? More or less. It's one of those handy catch-all words that you can use whatever you want because it doesn't mean anything specific. Okay. Would it help if I broke you out of jail? Now that's a kind offer, it truly is. Warms me to think that you'd do that for your old pal Stan. But I've got to think about the optics. I don't want to damage my case, and escaping from jail doesn't look good at trial. Yeah, so that's thanks, true. But no thanks. Well, is there anything else I can do for you? Now that you mention it, there is one thing I've been missing during my time here in this lofty establishment. And that All is? The rush and fuss and document shredding surrounding my arrest, I completely forgot to grab my toothbrush. If you happen to be passing by the shipyard, you might grab it for me. It'll be on my desk in the office. Sure thing. Okay. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. The secret? Boy, that takes me back. But if you're looking for help, you're barking up the wrong enchilada. Just remember, life has no guarantees or warranties. Only jamborees. Thanks. Sure. <laughs> That's advice. Yes, it is. See you later. Yep. All right. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I can do in here at the moment. How's your day going? I don't remember this place being so leaky. They yeah. They installed running water. <laughs> All right, visit the locksmith. Hi there, newcomer. Hi. I see everyone in that portrait has lovely locks. If you have to make a pun, at least make a good one. Oh, come on. These are nice. It's a locksmithing test. Close it all up, and if you get the key out, you pass? That's the beginner level, yes. The real challenge is to lock the larger box inside the smaller one. How would that even work? Are these for customers? Hands off. Those are my last crackers. Aw. Handsome looking parrot. And also vicious. But it was my mother's favorite. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. Okay, what about the... Oh, can't interact with those. I see a peninsula trailing off into small <laughs> islands, but no X marks the spot. It's southern Florida. I have family there. <laughs> oh, it's the Florida Keys, of course. Oh my god. Ugh. What's this lock? That's for hats. <laughs> What's that key? That's for a lockable quiver. And please, don't touch the glass. What would you need a lockable quiver for? That's an impressive machine. Yep. This wouldn't be much of a lock shop without a key grinder. Ah. Is that from a famous locksmith band or something? My mother's band? The Golden Keys. They were named after some actual Golden Keys that she spent a bunch of time looking for. Huh. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. I'm Lock Smith. You're kidding, right? Nope. And before you ask, yes they did, yes it was, and they really, really wanted me to follow in the family business. Okay then. It's really clean in here. Do you have a mop I could use? I simply don't allow filth to accumulate in the first place. Try somewhere a little less sanitary, like the bar by the docks. So everybody's pointing me towards the bar for that mop. Can you really make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Modern locks have serial numbers that tell me all I need to know. No tricks necessary, just information. Okay. It seems wrong that you can make a key from just the serial number. It's a fail safe in case people lose their key. You know how people are. Yeah, that's true. Aren't locks way less secure if all you need is a number to get a new key? That's why you should never share the serial number with anyone. What happens if you lose your key and the serial number at the same time? The numbers are usually engraved on the locks, just in case. And if you lose the lock, chances are you don't need a new key. <laughs> that's true. Well, what's to stop me reading the serial number on someone else's lock and having a key made? The numbers are printed small enough that you need a special tool to read them. Huh, Only we a have a monocle. Have a tool like that. Can I borrow your lock serial number reading tool? My magnifier? Not a chance. I could be drummed out of the union for that. If you want to play locksmith, you'll have to look elsewhere. All right. Who's the old lady in the window across the way? 
You mean Whitey Bones. She used to be the Undertaker here years ago. Seems to know a lot of things that maybe don't quite fit together. Okay. How well do you know Whitey Bones? Not well at all. But she's been living near my shop for quite a few years. She was across from my old location, too. But she moved when you moved? I'm sure it's just a coincidence. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm on a quest to find the secret of Monkey Island. Exciting. The story in my family is that the secret is sort of like a key. One that opens all locks at once. Huh. That seems enormously useful. Maybe. Depends on if you can close them again. Yeah, that's true. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. I've got a system. And I don't like it disrupted. Alright, I see something here. Yep, another trivia card. Morgan Le Fay first appeared in Tales of Monkey Island, which we just played. Alright. It sucks that we lost the trivia card. That we screwed up on. All right. Uh, to do list. All right, nothing new there. We're still kind of gathering information. Once you have a key, you've got to open the door. Okay. Things are not what they seem. All keys are gold. It's the way of keys. All right. She's just... It's, it's all pretty much useless right now. That was the clown. Ah, there was another trivia card. What did the voodoo lady sell her cauldron to? That was just a guess. But apparently we got it right. to be stuck closed. Ah. Employees only. Ah. Okay. So we can't get in just yet. Looks sort of like an eye. Sort of. I think it's a chandelier. All right. Can we go out this way and explore the rest of the island? Or no, this is off to the the governor's mansion. Reapwood. That voice sounds familiar. <laughs> that sword got stuck. Hello, Swordmaster. Prepare to taste my blade, you washed up hack. Uh when was the last time you had a bath? Ha! That was marginally clever. It's <laughs> nice to see you again. You too. Some insult sword fighting me going on. You've come far since I got you your first cushy government job. I hope you're not about to try to take credit for me being governor, because that would be both absurd and obnoxious, and I might have to skewer you for it. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, no, I heard this thing from my mind. I heard from your wife. She's coming by to talk about scurvy legislation. I assume you're involved with that somehow? No, not really. I've got my own project cooking. Of course you do. If it isn't about the scurvy project, why are you here? Ah. Uh. You first. What are you doing here? Don't be weird. I know Elaine <laughs> used to live here, but it's my house now that I'm governor. I'm looking for the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. I don't have it. <laughs> of course not. Elaine says Captain Madison is hurting her scurvy project. 
Not the legislative part, just the public funding. The town was in a bind a while back, and that so-and-so Captain Madison saw an opportunity. She lent us the cash we needed, but now we're up a creek paying the interest. Things like social programs, waste management, and town maintenance are all on the back burner. I like that woman less every minute. You and me both. Well, the mansion hasn't changed much. Elaine's style is still everywhere. Even the books are hers. They're my books now, as you well know. Yeah, maybe. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, <laughs> but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. Does not include Secret of Monkey Island. Oh. Darn it. It's thicker than I would have imagined. But it's from Captain Madison. Can I borrow a book? You've got a lot of nerve asking that. You never brought back the last book you borrowed. I had to buy another copy. You never even apologized. I'll pay for it. I don't need your money. Ah. I've always thought this looked like my old ship, the Sea Monkey. Uh. <laughs> Ugh, looks like Carla wasn't too keen on getting her portrait done. <laughs> Edgy. So there's an official portrait of the governor's sword. I like your stuffed, I uh, guess it's a dog? Please, take that and throw it away. It was a gift from the Earl of Thickwater, who is a contemptible pig. All right, so we'll take it. It's a lot of work being governor. Yes, it is. Stay out of my bedroom, Threepwood. Aw. I've seen that same painting on a box of frozen instant cereal. <laughs> Elaine told me that's Lauder Neckbeard, second governor of Melee Island. His overly strict morals and overly lax regulatory policies helped make the island what it is today. The blurb says it's a solid, if somewhat predictable story about a roguish pirate and a doomed romance with a woman of station. Huh. Ingredients by Barbie LaFlay. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Hmm, maybe we can borrow maybe that. Borrow Yes, yes, I know, I know. I totally forgot. Of course you did. You think like a cat. Ah. I tried to read that once, but I couldn't finish it. Of course not. It's the endless tale of the voyage that would not end. Note to the reader. No disguised secrets are revealed in this book. Ah. Warning, do not try these tricks at home. The blurb says it's Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I borrow a book? You never brought back the I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm hearing the words, but somehow they aren't helping. I need more than that. Well, I guess we're not going to borrow a book then. It's soft and extra fuzzy. So I could squeeze the stuffed animal. All right, uh, nothing else in the mansion then, it looks like. It was about the back way into the island's interior. Ah, we can explore the island then. We got the forest. We've got Lookout Point, Low Street, High Street, the Chuck ship, the shipyard. Let's go to the shipyard. Wow worse than I imagined. Yeah. Tan's previously owned vessels. It says Tan's previously owned vessels. It's supposed so to be Stan. Stan's used to be the best place to buy used ships. Uh-huh. The assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. Oh, poor Stan. It's a dried up old sea sponge. Yeah, let's take it. Why not? Stan used this to clean his ships. It's all rusted out now. Can I take it? No. There was a time when every mooring would be filled with one of Stan's used ships. Oh, we found another trivia card. It's good for relieving stress. 
Well, good. What does the sign at the Monkey Head location say? Nope. I thought that would be the funny answer, but no. No, I don't think there's much else here. I remember when these torches lit up Stan's previously owned vessels like a carnival. Gaze at the moon. It always looks bigger on this side of the island. Yeah, I wonder why. All right, back to the path. How about the forest? It's the only other location we haven't been to, right? Read the sign. Warning. The dark forest ahead is deadly and twisty. Maps are highly recommended. Yeah, deep forest where we're sure to get lost. A classic specimen of Alata needlius, a carnivorous vascular dicot known for its tasteful coloration, slight wiggle, and loads of tiny, sharp teeth. Hmm. No. No. All right, that's not gonna work. Let's go, yeah, go that way. Uh, yuck mushrooms. Ugh. I'm hopelessly lost without a map. All right. We need a map. Oh, I used to love these when I was six. I used to love these when I was six. Until I got trapped in one for two days. <laughs> I think they're illegal now. Museum of Pirate Lore. Well, let's, uh, oh yeah, this did used to be Carla's place. I want a t-shirt right here on the front lawn. <laughs> Hi there. Welcome to the Melee Island Museum of Pirate Lore. I'm Conrad, the curator and docent here. I also edit the Pirate Times newsletter. Here, take my business card. Sure, why not? Uh, thanks? The museum showcases the largest collection of pirate memorabilia in the Caribbean. Or on Melee Island, at the very least. The provenance of each item has been very carefully researched and fact-checked by myself and my team. Feel free to explore. And if you have any questions, just ask. All right. Eye patch worn by Captain John Laney, the Pirate of a Thousand Faces. The display case is locked. Uh, of course it is. There's some very tiny writing on it. All right, can I use the monocle? Well, the numbers are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. Darn it, we're gonna need to magnify it even better. That is a really big parrot. Wonder how many hands it's eaten. What do you feed it? Thieves, mostly. Good to know. <laughs> it's a working parrot. I shouldn't bother it. Ah. What was this cinder you've got on the wall? Oh, that. Yeah, that was an unsent love letter. Written by Elaine Marley, while she was governor of the island. What? Elaine? The recipient was referred to only as Plunder Bunny. That's me! It was a really <laughs> touching letter. Unfortunately, I put the candle too close to it. What did it say? Tell me what she said! Oh, you know, love letter stuff. Honestly, I don't remember a word of it. No! It Thanks Aww. Tell me about this hunk of wood. That's an original plank from the Golden Hind. Autographed by Francis Drake himself. Really? What's the significance of the peg leg? That belonged to the infamous peg leg Patty. She used to hide a spare cutlass in it, in case of capture. Sadly, that's the reason she's no longer with us. <laughs> What'd she do? Stand on it? What's the story with the wanted poster? That is the earliest known wanted poster for Captain Kate Capsize. You can tell how notorious she was by the huge number of crimes listed there. Very impressive. I got it from a collector on Fat Island. Those uh -huh. are the crimes, actually. I was pretty much public enemy number one on Fat Island at the time. I stuck Kate's picture on there so she'd get thrown in jail. <laughs> that would never work. Nobody's that clueless in real life. Oh, Maybe. you'd be surprised. It's not a question of belief. Never mind. It's not important. Uh huh. What's this melted lump of metal? It used to be a mug. It was melted by some kind of acid. <laughs> of course it was. In melee jail many years ago. After an incident where like 20 pirates escaped. Hey, I did that. I had to keep pouring the grog from mug to mug because it was Spoiler melted. Spoiler alert. I had an armload of mugs and I juggled them all the way from the scum bar to the jail. Also, I could get Otis to join my crew. 
Not yeah. my greatest decision in retrospect. <laughs> That's a pretty wild story. I'm telling you the truth. I'm sure you are. But it just doesn't quite square with the official record. So it's Ugh. hard to substantiate. Substantiate? You've got an eyewitness. Eyewitnesses are notoriously inaccurate. Human memory is plastic and suggestible. No yeah, words, that's true enough. Probably. No, of course not. I deal in facts. But that map looks familiar. That's one quarter of the original map to the treasure of Big Whoop. I got it from the cartographer on Low Street. Apparently, he was somehow involved in the search for Big Whoop. About all Wally managed to do was get kidnapped by LeChuck's henchmen. Uh -huh. That's not the way he does it. <laughs> Just trying to help. Thanks. I've got it under control. Uh huh. How on earth do you have that note? Oh, yeah. That's very interesting. I didn't even see what it was. That I just was clicked on it. Tucked inside of a book at the Fat Island Library. It's the actual note left by the ghost pirate LeChuck when he kidnapped Governor Marley. I know what it is. The lookout handed it to me just before I finished my three trials. Uh, I was crushed, but undaunted. I gathered a crew and I sailed to Monkey Island to save her. Not that she needed it, as it turned out. Wow, man, you're really into this. I've got a role-playing group on Thursday nights. This is absurd. It's like this whole wall is stuff from my personal adventures, but somehow I'm not even mentioned in your stories. That's what's so great about this museum. Everyone makes their own connections with the exhibits, and it's highly personal and different <laughs> for everyone. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. That's okay. You don't need to say anything. Just listen to what the exhibits tell you. Fine. Sure. All right, uh, enter the storeroom. Yeah, let's just talk to him. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. No kidding? Wow, are you named after Guybrush Threepwood? Uh, I guess you could say that. Nice. Yeah, I'm literally Guybrush Threepwood. I'm going to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. Oh, that's excellent. Super retro. If you need a place to display it, I know a convenient museum. Your museum is quaint. Thanks. It's been a personal passion of mine. I'm nuts about old-timey pirate stuff. Uh-huh. Being around <laughs> it really makes you feel like you're a part of something. Doesn't it? I am part of something. Exactly. <laughs> Are any of these things valuable? The security parrot isn't just here to look piratey. John Laney's eye patch is irreplaceable. <clears throat> it's the highlight of the collection. Amazingly, I got it at a yard sale. They didn't know what they had. I don't suppose you have a mop from a famous pirate swabby on display? I've been trying to get the cook down at the scum bar to donate his, but he won't part with it. Hmm. Do you have maps of the forest here? No, that's not really what we do. Try the map shop in town? Okay. Tell me about that newsletter of yours. The Pirate Times. We publish pirate news, pirate stories, pirate poetry, all things piratey, really. I right, see so you wear a peg leg, despite having both of your original legs. Just part of the docent's outfit for the tourists. Kids always want to try it on. That's charming and creepy at the same time. Yeah, this a is bit. It's a museum for people who think attacking ships and murdering the crew for profit sounds fun. Touche. Well, have a look around. Please do. All right. So the storeroom. Oh, let me come back here. It's cracker mix. Some assembly required. All right. Well, we got cracker mix. Read the label. Especially fortified for the healthy parrot diet. Pirate Times. Editor Conrad Lee. Ready to publish your unrecognized genius. All right. Well, I think that's everything here. There we go. Let's leave the forest. Let's go back to the docks. All right, Scumbar. Oh, hello. Hi, the Loom guy's back. I believe after all these years, you're still here. I was declared a historical landmark. <laughs> yeah, the place does seem different from what I remember. It's this new, younger generation of pirate leaders. Oh, they're highfalutin dark magic. Look at us. We're so much better than you because we don't drink grog before getting married. <laughs> These kids today are all about sacking and pillaging. They've got no heart. I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. Want to come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought up. 
that only the gullible and naive would go looking for it. Oh, I hope that's not true. Tell me about Loom. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking me about Loom. Get lost. Then why not get take the button off? One of these days, I really do need to play that game, though. I have it in my Steam library. Then why don't you take off the Ask Me About Loom button? My grog-riddled body is fused with it. Ah. I'm more button than man at this <laughs> point. Oh, come on. Tell me about Loom. For old time's sake. Beat it. Say it. No! Say it. Fine. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score, and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom today. Yes. Now get lost. <laughs> oh, we got a trophy nice or uh, achievement yeah, for that. Yeah. All right. What about you? You Hi. seem odd. Are you my waiter? I want the excellent dish I had at the governor's mansion last week. I I don't know what it's called, but it was sort of you know a hot food. Yeah, but uh -huh. it had ingredients in it or something. I'm not your waiter. I already told your incompetent cook this, but he still hasn't brought me my dinner. Hmm. I don't work here. I'm not a waiter. Hop to it! Uh, right away, sir. <sighs> Fancy. Alright, let us talk to... The cook. I really want that mop. Oh, you look like the health inspector tasted your stew. Or you did. <laughs> Marlin Marlin is here. Who? The customer I have nightmares about. He's the only importer of yak fat on the island, so I need to keep him happy, but he makes that impossible. Today he wants me to make him a dish that he ate last week at some kind of event at the governor's mansion. But of course he doesn't remember what it's called or know what's in it or even remember what color it was. He says he thinks it has ingredients in it i don't have the slightest idea what to make i think i might have an idea where did he say he had the dish he wants you to make at the governor's mansion it's probably some exotic weird tasting thing from yep. a swanky cook we already saw a cookbook there a cookbook if i brought you a recipe could you make it of course i'm a cook see the hat oh, look behind you a three-headed monkey I do know a great stew recipe for monkey heads. I can't think about that right now. <laughs> All right. What was that you were trying to tell me about mops before? The mop is the formal tool of a cook. Not as clumsy or random as a dish rag. An elegant tool for a more civilized cleaning. Oh, sure. I hope to succeed with the mop of another. I can't? You must construct your own. A single perfect instrument that you will keep and use for a lifetime. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Once yeah. you build it, the mop will become your constant companion, your tool, and a ready means of defense against spills of all kinds. Sure. Uh, build it? <sighs> the wood is the heart of the handle. The heart is the handle of the cook. You are one. Not helpful so far. No. <laughs> you must find a particular tree, a tree uniquely suited to the handles of mops. Carve your handle from a limb of that tree. Any questions? Okay. How do I find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is. Probably in the forest. This is your own personal journey. Sure. What kind of wood is the tree? That is something you must discover for yourself. Okay. What about the head of the mop? Oh, you have to have one, of course, but pretty much anything will do. It's mostly about the handle. Really? 
Are you sure I can't just buy them up? Yeah. Ears, for example. No, you've got to make one. Trust me on this. <sighs> All right. Uh, okay. I have an idea of what Let's the head of the mop is going to be. Wrong? You gave the story the wrong title. It should be called Mop Quest. When do we get to the piratey parts? Well, even the coolest professions involve more mopping up than you would think. Uh -huh. It seemed crazy <laughs> to me at the time, too. But don't forget, it was all so I could board a ship, take command, and sail to Monkey Island. But first, I had to make a mop. Yep, I have a feeling this is going to be the head of the mop. All right, um, open to-do list. Yeah, get a mop. Make a mop. Find the mop handle tree. Before we get that, though, I wonder, can I... No, can't combine those. It's hopeless. All right. So we got to go back to Governor's Mansion, back to Carla. Uh, wrong direction. Head to Low Street. All right, head to High Street. And I want to go to the locksmith real quick. Welcome back. Hi there. All right, can I give you the cracker mix? I found some cracker mix. You could bake fresh crackers in your furnace. Thanks. The ones on the plate were getting a bit stale. Take some if you want. Oh, what thank you. So we got crackers now. I have no idea what I need them for. I've got enough to last me. All right. What I actually wanted was over here. I want to talk to Carla. More specifically, I want to give her the forgiveness frog. This is for you. The frog giveness. Give me a frog? It's a forgiveness frog for when words aren't enough. You haven't even bothered to write anything personal on this frog. That's just rude. I reject your frog. We're supposed to write on it? How was I supposed to know that? All right, dear Lane, dear Wally, dear Carla. Dear Carla. Sorry for blowing you up that one time, for your uh, forgetting your birthday, forgetting your anniversary, for losing the book Sorry I borrowed. For losing the book I borrowed. I realize that you're tough on toughness, hard on softness. I value that you're dedicated to dedication. I appreciate that you're keen on bluntness. Hmm. I value that you are dedicated to dedication. Shown by your actions at Santo Domingo, Santa Catalina, Port Elizabeth, or Portobello. I think it's Santa Catalina. As shown by your actions at Santa Catalina, please accept my humblest apology. Even though it wasn't really my fault, I promise you better in the future. I've implemented a reminder system for myself. You scare the heck out of me. Uh, let's you go with that one. the heck out of me. <laughs> All right, here's hoping that's better. This is for you. Dear Carla, this is a nice sentiment, and it looks like you even know something about me. One thing. You can do better. I reject your frog. Really? Ah. All right. Let's try it again. Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's I value the, yeah. You are dedicated to dedication. As shown by your actions at Santa Catalina, please accept my humblest apology. Uh, it's either I promise or I've implemented. Let's I do promise I promise. Do better in the future. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to give that to you. Can we try the frog again? There we go. Dear Carla, 
This is a nice sentiment, and it looks like you even know something about me. One thing. Ugh, really? Better. I reject your frog. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's go back out here for a second. I want to take another look at that statue in Low Street. Okay, read the plaque. Honoring Melee Island's 27th governor, Carla the Swordmaster, for her heroic actions at Santa Catalina. All right. Is that it? The problem with this statue is it's not yeah, that's not Elaine, that's not what I find. Best ever governor of Melee. All right, let's talk to Wally. Wait, we've got another monocle. Better to have one for each eye. If you say so. Can I can I combine the two monocles? If one monocle is good, two is better. Yes. Hey, Wally. I'm looking for a tree to make a stupid mop from. Have you got a map for that? So the cook has sent you on one of his spiritual journeys? Be uh, something like that. I made one of those mop tree maps. What kind of tree is it again? I don't know. A wood one? That's okay. Just bring me a sliver of the wood and I can work it out from there. I'm that good. Really? Okay. Bye. Well, the only mop we know of is the cook's. But we're not ready for that yet. We're not ready to go back to the cook just yet. Um... All right, I wanna I wanna try the frog one more time. All right, Carla, Carla. Losing, the losing the book. the book I borrowed. Tough on toughness, hard on softness. I value that you are dedicated to dedication, as shown by your actions at Santa Catalina. Please accept my humblest apology. All right, I, let's I do the reminder, reminder system. system for myself. Yeah, we have a to-do list now. All right, frog. This is for you. If this one doesn't work, then it's got to be the dedicated to dedication thing. This is a nice sentiment, and it looks like you even know something about me. But one thing. You can do better. Oh, God damn it. Okay. It's got to be the dedication to, to thing. The dedicated to dedication. Dear Carla. Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I realize that you are tough on toughness. As shown by your actions at Santa Catalina, please accept my humblest apology. I promise to do better in the future. All right. This is for you. Dear Carla. Please work, please work, please work. This is a nice sentiment, and it looks like you no. even know something about me. No. Nope. One thing. You can do better. That's not I the right one. Frog. Gotta be something I'm missing. Now let's try one more time. Dear Carla, sorry for losing the book I borrowed. Uh, keen on bluntness? I appreciate that you're keen on bluntness. As shown by your actions at Santa Catalina, please accept my humblest apology. Again, be blunt. You scare the heck out of me. All right. This is for you. If this doesn't work, we might have to come back later or look at the hints. This is a nice sentiment, and it looks like you eat one. I reject. God damn it. There's got to be something I'm missing. But it's like this is the one we need. Can I borrow a book? You never brought back the last book you borrowed. You never even apologized. I'm trying to apologize. 
can we try the frog again? Dear, this is a one thing I reject. Yeah. All right, fine. Is there something else we can talk to you about, or what? Well, I've come for a recipe, a dish you served at a recent function. It's been described as hot and having ingredients in it. Ring any bells? I do host plenty of functions, but I'm afraid I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Uh huh. All I right. Should you get back to governing? Yes, you should. So she doesn't have anything else for us. <sighs> Alright, let's go to the museum. Hopefully two monocles are better than one. Ah, crystal clear. I'll just write that down. Alright. This is the one for the museum display case. Well, apparently a forgiveness frog doesn't work if the apology you write on it isn't good enough. Yeah. All right. Well, we've got the serial number for the lock. So if we go back to the locksmith, which is in High Street. I don't know what the crackers are for Welcome yet, though, back. but... Hello. All right. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. This will be for a high-end display case. You a collector? Uh, yeah. Stamps. All right. Well, thank you for that. Okay. Back out we go. Are we going to be able to get the eye patch that easy? Yeah, the key. Whoa. Uh oh. That's not supposed to be unlocked. I'd better fold this and put it in storage. Then I can figure out what's wrong with the lock. Looking good. I like things neat. Damn parrot. That's folded perfectly. I should have given the parrot crackers do, first. Parrot. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave the museum while I figure out what's going on with my display case lock. Okay. Welcome back. Please try not to touch anything that seems like you're not supposed to touch it. Okay. I hope you didn't change that. All right, feed the parrot. And while the parrot's doing that, there's some very tiny writing on it. No, I said. There we go. All right, let's get out of here. While the parrot was busy. Meanwhile, at the mansion. What do you expect me to do, Elaine? Issue a proclamation? Of course not, Carla. What's with the golden key? Support. I'm working on that. People around here don't like any kind of restrictions, even if it's for their own good. But we can put a requirement on ships traveling to the north. There's already a customs check, so the infrastructure is all in place. Is that Jennifer Hale? To start. Scurvy's a big problem. Let's do all we can. Agreed. I've come a long way. Is there anything else on the agenda? That is, that's got to be Jennifer Hale. All right. Still haven't figured out the right thing here. It's a lot of work being governor. I haven't quite figured out the right uh Apology. Like Carla wasn't too keen on getting her portrait done. All right, uh, no Elaine here now, but that's fine. Let's go back to the voodoo lady now that we have the eye patch.
All right. Eye patch, voodoo lady. Can you fix this? Ah, the famous eye patch disguise of John Laney. As I suspected, the magic has long since drained away. Good. Great. So, can you charge it up again? I can. If... 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 If you bring me one more thing. A particular charm of great power. Of course. You couldn't have told me this earlier. I could have. <laughs> you must bring me the bite of a thousand needles. Then... I will recharge your eye patch. Okay. A thousand needles. Can you be a tiny bit more specific? It's probably that uh, right? carnivorous plant from do. the forest, but what am I going to have to do with it? All right. Uh, yeah, let's go back this way. Wait, 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 wait. Can I... Open the door? It's probably still stuck. It seems to be stuck closed. Yeah. All right, back to the interior. The forest. All right, dark forest. Pure of the carnivorous plant. What if I use these? Knife on the plant. Gotcha, you pointy little tricky fight. There we go. All right, that is probably what. Oh no, I want Low Street. That's probably what she was looking for. If I'm right, the bite of a thousand needles. Carnivorous plant. This is a plant with a bad attitude and enough pokey parts to back it up. All right. Is that there what we were looking go. for? Bite of a thousand needles. Tell me, is this an ancient powerful <clears throat> charm or simply a plant you found in the forest? Oh, you come on! About you wanted, even for you. I took my best shot. Yeah. Very well. You've always been the close enough sort. Thanks. <laughs> come. Spirits of deception and death, drink your rejuvenation and awaken. Death? <laughs> it's nothing to worry about. You John sure about that? Laney, this hapless boy needs your help. Hey. Take pity on him and bring him the power to hide from his enemies. Well, you don't have to put it like that. That's it? Unless you want the extended service warranty. <laughs> no thanks. I'm not a sucker. What do I owe you? Maybe try it on first, before we discuss payment. You sure about that? Well, how do I look? Yeah. What the heck? I look like a zombie. Is it broken? One does the best one can with the materials provided. I'll just wear it when I really need to. It works, though, at least. Ugh. You're welcome. All right, so we got a disguise. Yep, so that is done. Now we still need to make a freaking mop. Find the mop handle tree. All right. To do that, we need to mess with the, the cook's mop. In order to do that, we need to get him the recipe book. In order to do that, we need to give a... We need to give a, an apology, an appropriate apology to Carla. There was one more place that mentioned her. There we go. Elect Governor Carla. She's hard on softness. That's what it is. That's what I was missing. Hard on softness. All right, I'm glad we can at least run by clicking multiple times.
All right. Let's fix our apology. Dear Carla, sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I admire that you are hard on softness. As shown by your actions at Santa Catalina, please accept my humblest apology. All right, now which one of these was it? Let's go with Even this one. It wasn't really my fault. <laughs> See if she accepts that. This is for you. Dear Carla. <laughs> Not really your fault. This isn't an apology. It's an excuse. I reject your frog. <laughs> I just wanted to see what was going to happen with that one. All right, let's fix it again. Dear, Dear Carla. Carla. Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I admire that you are hard on softness. As shown by your actions at Santa Catalina, please accept my humblest apology. You scare the heck out of me. All right, that's another honest one. <laughs> this is for you. Dear Carla. <laughs> I'm impressed, Guybrush. Surprisingly thoughtful, considering it's you. I'm strangely moved to forgive you for losing my book, and I'll treasure this frog as a memento of the time you did something right. All righty. So does that mean I can borrow ingredients? Can I borrow this cookbook? You cook like a cow. That's why I need the cookbook. Oh, all right. <laughs> I was upset after you lost the last one, but you seem genuinely sorry, so I guess I'll give you another chance. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. All right. Now we need something hot, maybe. Also, Stan. There we go. Um. Oh, shoot. There we go. Excellent. Clicked out of the game. There we go. I forgot we left some people in the jail, including Stan. Hey, kid. All right, Stan. What? This is the only thing that was like there. Good time. That's nice. All right, that's not gonna work. However, no, not there either. It's good for relieving stress. It's soft and extra fuzzy. It's a creepy, shrunken head with long, stringy hair. All right. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Uh-huh. Hey, Stan. Stan oh, wanted us to get him something. I've been to the shipyard. Your office is all boarded up. Yeah. With your toothbrush sealed inside, presumably. Well, don't worry yourself. Oh, it was this toothbrush he was looking I found for. A dead centipede in the corner that should do until they let me out. Okay. See you later. Yep. Alright. Peer at the lock. I think there's some writing on it, but it's too tiny to read. Well, in that case, I can read the serial number. Oh, Goody. Write it down so I don't forget. All right, let's see if we can't get only... another key. Hello, Mr. Brush. Hi. Uh, it's Threepwood, actually, but. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. Good choice on the lock. These are really sturdy. It's the same kind they use over at the jail. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a coincidence. I had no idea. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, Guybrush. Hey, kid. All right. This is awesome. Now I can open one of the jail cells. Yep. Otis, the authorities have reconsidered your case and decided that you should go free. I'm very grateful to the authorities and will not mention their name should any awkward questions be asked. Good oh, good. Luck, Stan. I hope you get acquitted. Oh, it's in the bag, friend, but thanks. All right. I'll stay on this side of the bars, just in case. Yeah, probably a good idea. What if we can we use that one on this one, too? No, thanks. I'm about to be acquitted. Escaping looks bad. All right. Well, Otis is free now. All right. Um, I feel like we may still need to get something hot. 
Let me dock into the scum bar. Fancy. Yes, fancy candle. Candle's hot. Can I... Is there nothing I can do to take it? No. 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 Alright, I don't think any of those are gonna work. Alright, if I give you the cookbook... I found this at the governor's mansion. Huh. Ha! The mystery dish must be in there! I have no idea which one it'll be, so I'll just have to make them all. I'd better get to work. Thanks, Guybrush. Alright, while he's doing that... Alright. Come on, there we go. Oh, no! I just need a splinter of it, though. Ugh. Well, that didn't work. This will be excellent. Brilliant innovation. Well, it's definitely a mop. Okay, what if I go this way? The plaque says, in memory of looming seagulls of old. Okay. Yeah, it's filled with nasty looking water. Can I It's the cook's old mop. Yes, I know, but there we go. That's what I needed. All right, put the mop back. I carved it off the cook's mop handle. Good times. All righty then. That's what we needed. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Before I do that, can I interact with you? Waiter. I can't understand why this is taking so long. Just bring me what the governor served me last week. Of course, sir. Sorry for the delay. It's like, how are we supposed to know what that is? Oh, he's not going to take the crackers. All right, cook. He... Yep. All right. Okay, see you around. Now, where Ugh, seems I remember like that a lot, stench as okay. if it were yesterday. All right, so yeah, I don't think there's anything else we need in here. All right, now we need Wally. All right, let's give you the shavings. Wally, here's a sample of the wood you want. Can you make me a map now? Ten minutes later. Sure, here it is. Thanks, Wally. Yes, indeed, thanks a bunch. All right, up to High Street. Oh, wait, I should probably look at the map. Okay. Well, that's the best we can do for now. It'll make more sense once we get to the forest. All right, forest. Okay, we go in here. Open. So we want to go right, north, right, north. Okay, right, north, right, north. Go that way. Then go this way. Then this way. Then this way? No. Why didn't that work? Open the map. It's... Oh, purple flower. Right at the purple flower. Then north at the purple flower. Then right at the mushroom. Okay. So yeah. Purple Admire flowers. the purple flowers. These must be lavender. Or monk's hood. Or cyclamen. So again, purple flower. Oh. Purple flower. Then there we go. No? Yeah, purple flower. Purple flower. Okay, now purple flower again. And that gets us where we needed to go. The tiny Wait, deer. Yeah. Wow. 
The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. Mind your mama, little prickly kids. Uh huh. Hey, little fella. <laughs> All right, so this is definitely it. Tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. All right, let's hack off a branch. Let's get our mop handle. Several hours later. Don't tell me to cut down the whole thing. Oh, guy brush. What did you do? What the frickin' hell, man? Why would you do that? Oh my god! Oh, those poor animals! Look at them in the background, crying! Another resource has given its all in support of my personal goals. Oh it's my god! <laughs> I must have startled them while I was whittling. Some animals are quite skittish. Uh -huh. I must have startled them while I was whittling. Hey, you little deer. <laughs> oh my god. Guybrush. You did not need to do all that. I carved it myself. I made him up. I think I'm ready to set sail. Wait. No, I thought the, the head was going to be the mop. And we were going to tie it's it a together. perfect instrument that I will keep and use for a lifetime. All right. Guy brush. All right, we need a mop. Now we just need to join LeChuck's crew. I'll take a shortcut back. God damn it, Guy brush! What the hell is wrong with you? You did not need to do that. All right, let's put it on. And mop. How do you like my mop? Custom built. Let's see. Stick, tangle a boat line. <sniffs> Smells like seagull droppings. Eh, good enough. I happen to need a swabby. You interested? Definitely. You're hired. Great. We'll be getting underway soon. Why don't you come on board and I'll introduce you to the crew. All right. Excited to see my stateroom. When's a good time to discuss the benefits package? Stateroom, seriously? Meanwhile at the scum bar... Threepwood's on the Chuck's ship. He's got some kind of disguise. From the bargain bin, it looks like. So what? You don't think this could be a problem? We didn't plan for him. I hate not knowing what's going on. I should have taken him out the minute he walked in here. Don't worry, we'll know what's going on. Yeah? How? I've got a spy on board the ship. Really? Is it Murray? I bet it's Murray. But yes, we've set sail. And somebody else is following? Anyways, it's part two, A Dangerous Journey. So once you were on LeChuck's ship, you turned the tables on them. You whipped out your sword and said, I'm your captain now. Take me to Monkey Island, where you'll all walk the plank. Uh, more or less. <laughs> the name's Gullet, but you're not to call me that. To you, I'm the first swab, and I want to hear the capital letters when you say it. Capital one. Got it. And this is the old. You'll be spending a lot of time down here. I thought we'd have a union or something. How much time is a lot of time? All of it. You work here. You sleep here. You take your meals here. Forget the world you knew before. This hold is your world. The well, hold damn. Is your ground. The deck is your sky. And I am your deity of choice. A cruel and vengeful deity. I only have one simple rule. You are not to leave this hold under any circumstances. Any questions? Uh, can I leave the hold? But, no. <laughs> what happens if I leave? I said you're not to leave under any circumstances. But what happens I if know, I do? Just hypothetically, what if I did? The worst punishment you can imagine. Which is 
I'd throw you back down here. Nothing's worse than this. <laughs> okay, sure. Where's my bunk? You might be alright inside one of the crates. Otherwise, be sure to cover your eyes. The chickens like to peck. But Damn. it's probably safest if you don't sleep at all. The chickens have their ways. Okay. What's for dinner? Oh, we'd like a bit of dinner, would we? Perhaps we can arrange a bit of roast duck under glass for your majesty. <laughs> oh, that would be nice. But seriously, learn to catch rats. You can drown them in your mop bucket. They make their own sauce. <laughs> uh, what if I need to, um, you know. Use the portal. Don't get anything on the ledge outside, though. I ain't an unsightly ledge. Okay. What am I supposed to be doing exactly? No recruits. You're all thicker than the chickens. <laughs> uh, is that the whole answer? You're supposed to be swabbing. I want this old sparkling as if it was clean. Now, get to work. Yeah. <sighs> yo, ho, yo, ho. Pirate's life for me. You gotta start somewhere, Gabrush. Can I not? Why is the escape button's not working? Yeah, there we go. That'll, that'll be fine. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. I think this is a good place to stop. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.